All right, here we go. Another week of indoor arena football is finally, finally over. After a long, tumultuous weekend, we have reached the end of the weekend. And first things first, we got to talk to the NHL. We got we to gotta talk AB. I mean, unfortunately, it is what it is. We do have to talk about Antonio Brown's antics. It, it, it has gotten even more wild in the past few days. I mean, Antonio Brown appeared in the YouTube chats during the Albany Jacksonville game, in which Jacksonville beat the brakes off of the Empire, by the way. We know that AB will suit up. He will be playing at the next home game for the Empire next weekend. The Twitter page, it has gone off the deep end. The last couple of weeks do not look like professional tweets at all. They don't even look like... I, I genuinely do not even know what these tweets are at this point. But it is what it is. Manas is gone again. He either left, he either resigned, or maybe fired him. There's conflicting things on that front, so I don't know what it is. Bain is also gone. He got hurt, apparently. Hurt his ankle. He's gone. And then... John Audino, who is a high school coach, has apparently been hired. So yeah, this is fun. This is fun, isn't it? And we got all of the fans seething and coping and crying and whining and doing everything in between. And can you really blame them? Can you really blame them for the disaster that has become this team? And I mean, I picked the Empire to win the championship preseason. I picked them back on February 26th. I picked them as champions to win it all back on February 26th. That probably ain't going to happen now unless things change. At least West Texas' broadcast was fun. That was fun, and also San Antonio barely squeaking out a victory. That was fun. Carolina beat Fayetteville in front of less than a thousand people. I mean, what can you say there? At least Fayetteville has some new ownership. Um, I forgot to put that in there. I'll put that in there really. Uh, we'll talk about the new ownership, or rather, new part owners next week because I forgot about it. But there, but there are there's some new guys up there helping out um, in Fayetteville. So hopefully things get better there. You look at the standings, I mean, pretty much unchanged. Guns League is still defeated. Carolina 4-1, Jacksonville 3-2, Fayetteville 2-3, Orlando, West Texas, Albany all have one win. In the IFL, well, Bismarck is still working on coming back. It's not a relocation of Fargo. That is not what they are saying. So you can pretty much put that in the water right now that Bismarck is looking to come back to Bismarck. And there's another reason why. Beck Sports. Yeah, they produced this, basically this red zone type thing called Inside the IFL Live. So Beck Sports teamed up with the IFL and said, hey, we, we got something good going on, and it was interesting for the most part. I only checked it out for a couple minutes, but it was interesting. They had, you know, they had uh, had coaches, had guys on there, and everything like that. I mean, it was interesting. Can't say I'll go back and watch it again, but I mean, it's there. You know, if y'all want a red zone type of experience, but not everybody wants that. Um, you look at the scores, I mean, Mass beat Quad City, which is not surprising, but then again, it is. Green Bay beat Iowa. Iowa's terrible. Arizona drew Powell's back, so you know Arizona is going to start beating the brakes off some people now. And, I mean, you know, that was just a beating. And then Frisco lost. Yes, the fighters lost, so we have another unbeaten team in across the three main leagues anyway that have fallen so frisco is now a one-loss team in the eastern conference they still lead the east but 
have that one loss. Tucson beats Sioux Falls. I mean, I heard Michael Hall's over there now, so that's good for him, I guess. Vegas beat Tulsa because it's Tulsa and San Diego with with Nate Davis at the helm. You know, Davis beat his former team against, you know, the Duke City Gladiators in a game that just ended like 20 minutes ago. You look at the standings, I mean, really not much has changed. We're halfway through the season. Most teams have maybe seven games left, six, seven, um, seven, eight games left. I say six. Yeah, most teams have seven or eight games left. I mean, things are starting to solidify themselves. It's a five-team race in the East, and the West is wide open, especially, you know, with the way, you know, some of these teams have been playing. I mean, Dalton Sneed, Bay Area, Arizona's back with, with Drew Powell and company. I mean, everything is changing for the better in the IFL. And I did talk about, the, I glanced over it last week, but Richard Davis, you know, yeah, sure, Pat Pimmel is, you know, helping out and stuff like that and making things, you know, right the ship, so to speak, in Topeka, who won a game, by the way. They beat Southwest Kansas 43-28, and they're finally able to season. And, I mean, hey, that's a good way to go out. And I left a question in the community tab, I've left the question is, will Topi could come back next year? Will they come back? Because, again, you know, there's been some, you know, there's been some things about, you know, Davis that have been going around yet again. And, I mean, there was just something, you know, the other day, you know, about a player, you know, who could have played, you know, potentially this week. You know, he could have maybe tried out, maybe played, you know, but ultimately, you know, Ultimately, you know, things just didn't work out for him. And, you know, there's other stories. Uh, there's other stories and true things or false things about Davis as well. You know, that just, it, it just kind of muddles his reputation right now. So, Topeka, if they come back for third year, which, I mean, hopefully, you know, they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But this... This is a good way to end your season on, you know, in front of your fans with a win. Elsewhere, Sioux City falls to Salina, so now it's really, we're still deciding seeding. Billings beat Rapid City, so Rapid City is the only team that ends with a winless record on the year, which is a real shame for Rapid City, real shame for them, no Exhibition games do not count. You are 0 and 10. So really now, what needs to be decided is the 2 seed. So Gillette, Salina, that's going to be the game. And then is Sioux City going to be the 4 seed or are they going to be the 5 seed? So it's Omaha, Sioux City next week and Gillette and Salina in the CIF. Everybody else is done. Southwest Kansas gets to sit pretty. Billings gets to sit pretty until the playoffs, which, I mean, really, you really shouldn't have Cephalus Kansas in the playoffs anyway, but, I mean, it is what it is, especially after they just lost to Topeka. I mean, come on. But, you know, CF has that top six teams for a reason, so whatever. Everybody else, um, right now, I don't have the rest of the AL scores. Um, Still City did beat Eastern Shore 69-8. Um, Las Vegas, the Kings of the AIFA, they traveled up to Idaho and, you know, they played a better game this time, but they still got beat by 30, 68, 30. And then the Great Lakes Arena Alliance or Arena Football, whatever you want to call the, the GLAF, the GLAA, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what it's called at this point. West Michigan, obviously. Because they, they own the league, they have, you know, everything, you know, they easily took care of Southern Michigan. I mean, come on. I even watched championship ceremony for some reason, and I don't know why I did that. Because that, that I mean, come on now. Come on. Just, just scrap this nonsense. Your website's down. 
you're adding you're apparently adding teams next year and like use the quotations because the Ohio Blitz is not the Ohio Blitz is not a team. So the Michigan isn't really a team. Battle Creek isn't really a team. I mean, come on. There were no streams of most of these other games, you know. There were you have teams playing in soccer plexes, which is not professional at all. So you can't say, oh well, well, we 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 have a nice solid foundation. No, 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 no. Yo, West Michigan yet again only played like five or six games. So I mean, that's just not. This is just not doable. I'm sorry. I, 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 I've been kind long enough, and I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I cannot take this seriously anymore. Join something different, and I'm begging the West Michigan Iron Man. I'm begging. I'm begging them to watch this. I'm begging them. I'm begging them to watch this. Join a league where you can actually play. Hell, the IFL's right there. There's teams in your area in the IFL. Hell, go, do it. It, it. This isn't. This isn't it. I'm sorry. You you have no website right now. You haven't. Your Facebook hasn't been updated since March. The only team that actually posts updates is West Michigan. You cannot say you're a professional league and say that you're really a volatile league. You know, without you know some you know, without without some things going on. Sure, first year and everything like that, but this isn't this isn't it. I'm sorry, this isn't it. You need to join a league where things are more legit. And I also forgot about Charlotte. The Charlotte Thunder are selling their old field too. So if anybody wants that, go ahead and get that. That's all I got. I ain't got nothing else to say. I could go on another rant about the GLAF. I mean, how do you rename your league like twice? You renamed your league even. Like, how do you call yourselves the GLAA? Even then, you call yourselves the GLAF. Like, I don't, I, am I glad it's over? Hopefully, this is only a one season thing. I really hope so because this is this is not it. This is not it. You know. Oh my goodness, I, I can't. I don't know. CIF definitely can't take them. There's just no teams in where 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 West Michigan could be at. Because I mean, you know, CIF's concentrated in the Midwest, and you know, and it's like you know, Kansas, Missouri, and Wyoming. You know, dim type of Midwest, not 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 the Midwest where you think you know. I, I, I don't know at this point. I don't know. I'm, d- I'm done for today. After after all the Albany all, all Empire stuff, I, I'm kind of done for today. I, I I'll see you all. I'll see you all next week. I'll, I'll see you all next week.